Hello, my name is Nadine Milton and welcome to Hop Along Studio. Hop Along Studio was created to speak about the journey of self-care through artistic expression. So this week on my website, I wrote about the idea of dying to ego. You might wonder, why do we need to die to ego? Uh, there's a lot of different reasons that ego does not help us. And I think one of the biggest things is that it causes us to reject not only others, but also ourselves. And that if we want to live a life of love and vulnerability, ego really does kind of need to go. And some of the thoughts that I had towards how we combat ego in our lives, one of them has struck me more than the others. And that was the idea of writing a letter saying goodbye to your ego. And it might seem like a strange thing saying, well, ego, I don't need you anymore. But I really felt that just going through that process of saying, you know what, ego, I do not need you anymore. These are the things that I choose to have in my life. And I will choose the uncomfortable things and the vulnerability for the sake of not having to live in fear all the time that I thought was very, very valuable. So I've actually included that art journaling project that I have done this week that shows my letter on saying goodbye to my ego. And I do hope you find this project helpful and that it gives you something to think about this week. And please let me know what your thoughts are on, on the project itself. If you'd like to see the full article, you can click on the link below or visit my website, www.hoplongstudio.com, where I do also have the full article there. So for today's project, saying goodbye to ego, I am using my Dina Wakely mixed media journal this particular page is watercolor paper and I, it measures 10 inches by 14 inches. As well, I am going to be using my India inks by Dr. P.H. Martins. I have a golden yellow, blue, grass green, sepia, teal, cherry red, and red India ink. So let's get started. So to start with, I am actually going to take the India ink itself and put a bit of it along the top of the page. In this case, I'm going to start using teal. They come with little droppers, which makes it a little bit easier to control the, the amount of ink that you want to put out. There's some red. Red and yellow go well together, so I'm going to put the yellow next to the red. The blue and the red look good. It'll make purple. I'm trying not to make too much mud while I do this. I'm going to go back to using some more teal. Some blue. Because I love blue. I'll do some green in here as well. Maybe another touch of yellow. Okay, now what I'm going to do is gently tip the page so it starts running down and use some water to make this run. Just be careful that you do not end up with it on the floor. <laughs> I'm actually putting a paper, bit of paper towel at the bottom of my page just to try to catch some of this. As well too, I'm going to move it some of it in the other direction. And you can see that you get some pretty interesting results from this pigment. The India ink is really nice and vibrant. I think it makes a really good choice for doing work like this. I don't think that's quite enough color, so I am going to add in a little bit more. dry the next step is to add some additional layers to this project to add interest before I start adding my journaling uh, to start with I usually grab my small palette 
and I start applying some colors. So in this case, I'm going to use some smaller stencils with a little bit more detail in them. And to try to keep this light and not too dark, I am going to use uh, some buff titanium and some teal. And I'll finish that off with a little bit of iridescent uh, Pabio Artist Acrylics iridescent gel as well too. Um, it's gold in color, gold iridescent. And we will see how that works. So it's important that we find something that's good for putting things through stencils, but will not uh, will help kind of keep the definition of the stencil. So I find that these Tim Holtz sponges with little applicators uh, usually work really, really well for the for this type of work. I find that it's easy to control the paint as well. It usually gives a fairly crisp image. So I'm going to add a little bit of the buff little bit of the blue in there and see how this goes. And I do small swirling motions. a little bit more buff titanium. What I should have done is done the buff titanium first and then added the blue. By adding both of them together you end up with more of a green color which was not really my original intention for this. So now I will do some blue. <laughs> And if you're not too sure how it looks and you want to take a look and make sure that you are getting the colors you want, you can always lift the stencil as long as you hold on to one edge. There you go, a little bit of detail in there. And if you don't, if you don't want it nearly as opaque and a little bit more transparent, you just use a little bit of what's left on your sponge without really picking up much more. So you don't want to lose all that background color that we have spent some time actually making kind of show in this. I'll just do one more little section in here. Another key is you don't want to have the, you don't want to have a hard edge of the stencil. You want to make sure you quit somewhere in between so you have a little bit more feathering from the, from the edge to, um, to where you have your final color. In this case, I am following this edge, but I don't want a, a, star, a stark edge here. I actually want to let it fade out. The next thing I want to do is actually sponge on another color. I usually want to change sponges. So in this case, because I want to try to get some iridescent. The cool thing with these iridescents is it is a bit of a, it's a bit color flipping. So it's not going to be very strong. You're not going to see a lot of it. But once you move the page and you move it around, you will actually see a lot of the really interesting color that kind of comes through. So you can see a little bit there. And as I move the page, you can probably see that there is just a tiny bit of shimmer there. I like it because it's a little more subtle than going for like a really strong bronze or gold. Instead, it, it shows up in little bits and pieces throughout your painting. So there you can see as the movement I moved over dark colors, you see that detail a little bit more and the lighter spots not nearly as much, which again causes a neat fade and adds more interest to your piece over being all one color really, really strongly. <laughs> This 
spot here it'll show up really well so I'm going to add a little bit more again watch those edges so that you don't end up with any stark lines So the next step that I'm going to do is add a much larger stencil in certain areas on this piece. So I've actually put down some of this black blue Dyna paint as well. I have some phthalo turquoise that I'm going to mix with a little bit of my teal. This is actually a high flow acrylic, which is highly pigmented, but it will probably, it doesn't have a lot of body to it. So it, it's nicer to actually add to an existing color. Um, I actually probably should get some of this in a thicker uh, mix just to make this a little bit easier for me. But for now, this is I will use what I have. So I'm going to use this sponge and it's good to tilt your stencils a little bit so it looks a little bit more random uh, than it than it probably maybe would be otherwise. And I am actually going to start because I do want a few things along the edge here. Again, I'm trying to not get the burlap in, so just be a little bit careful with how you apply your paint, just so that you don't end up with stuff where you don't want it, so. some interest because I have some color up here I'm also going to add a little bit more down here as well <laughs> guy here is blending in a little too much so I'm just going to add a little bit more paint on it so just make sure you line up your stencil really well and then you can add a little bit more color and now I'm going to add a little bit more interest by overlapping with some lighter colors I'm going to add some cerulean blue just to add a little bit more interest. Again, I'm trying to shade these so they kind of have a little more circular look to them. And I'll go in with the buff titanium a little bit. A little bit of cerulean. And I'm even going to add a tiny bit of that iridescent gold. That makes that pop a lot more. Thank you. 
You want to make sure this project is fully dry before you start adding your writing to it. I'm actually using a Jelly Roll Sakura pen for this project as well. I have already written my letter. I just want to put it in my own hand in this journal page. I thought it was really important that considering the topic, the idea of saying goodbye to ego, I wanted to make sure I covered it as succinctly as possible and was able to make sure I didn't leave anything out that was important to me. As well, that helped me plan my space for my writing on this page. So I have now completed my journaling. Uh, you can, I'm going to bring the camera down so you can see a little bit closer. So my journaling, I decided to do just straight and then in other areas I went around some of the circles and other ones I went over top. So again, I moved things in, I took things out, I tried to show a little bit more interest in the overall writing. I also highlighted certain words that I thought were important and wanted to highlight on those during this video. Uh, the next step is to actually start outlining a few of these circles to be able to let them pop a little bit more and to show kind of what I, I guess maybe make it a little bit more interesting page than it actually is right now. So I'm going to use another one, my Jelly Roll. It's called Clear Star. This is actually pretty much, it doesn't have a lot of ink. It's actually more glitter and I really like the look of it around projects. It gives a little bit of nice shimmer. basically how you do the highlighting on one of the circles. I hope that you have found this project useful. If you have, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and visit www.hopalongstudio.com for more creative inspiration. If you have any comments or questions about what I have presented today, feel free to leave a comment below. I will respond to them as soon as I can. Have a great day and I will see you next week.